you would be wise to listen to your knowing wish. Have I ever had a recurring nightmare? Yes, I have, but it's quite a common one among actors. I had one not too long ago that really spooked me. We were attached to a derelict house on a farm. Who buy a place like this? And it doesn't come in the shape of a, a monster or a scary castle or something. Someone had broken into where I lived, all dressed in black, and there was smoke everywhere. Bright lights shining in my face. It's a stage, and I can see through the light as an audience. When I was about eight or nine, every time I went to bed, I'd close my eyes, and I was 100% positive that there was a presence in my bedroom. I remember trying to scream, and there was no sound coming out. I'm clearly in a show or in a play, but I have no idea what it is. And I'm in front of all these people, and I don't know what to do. Terrifying. And I know that um, someone had died in that house. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it was that person because it was the adjoining wall of the same room as my bedroom. I thought I was screaming the house down. Help, help! And it was kneeling at my bed in the prayer position. This was every single night for about six months. I couldn't sleep in my room. And no one believed me, because why would you? Like an eight or nine year old, much like Isaac in this show. Are you scared? It's okay to be scared. It's about lack of control and, and utter terror of losing any sense of understanding. I think it's our subconscious trying to tell us something. If they're occurring, it's clearly an itch that hasn't been scratched in your psyche. All right. You might want to record this. You would be wise to listen to your nightmares. I know you wake every night from a painful dream you never had. 3.33 every single night. Remember, Remember. Lucy. Remember. Remember.